Uh-huh. It's breakfast time. So it's been extremely hot here in Los Angeles and I might have mentioned this one or a thousand times. So last night we had to sleep with our bedroom door open and the fan on. The bedroom door goes straight outside. It was a mosquito buffet for us. Woke up in the middle of the night with a whole bunch of bites, scratching like a dog. I was even dreaming that I was getting bitten by mosquitoes. Crazy little mosquitoes biting me all night long. It's lunchtime, right there. Carol, my awesome wife, just went and got us veggie grill. Let's go. Today, we are going to do real questions from you guys, and I'm gonna give you fake answers. Okay, first question. What's a nickname only your family calls you? Tiberius. My family was really into the original Star Trek, and it was James T. Kirk. T stood for Tiberius. That's what my family calls me. What's a weird habit of yours? I like to take red jello, and this happened when I was a kid. I put red jello up my nose, and I kind of inhale it. It's weird, I know, but I've been doing it since I was a kid. I've tried to do it with green jello. Green jello doesn't work. It's got to be the red jello. Do you have any weird phobias? I am extremely afraid of low places. I don't like to crouch down. I don't like to be lying down. I don't like to be low to the ground. I like to be as high as possible. What's a song you secretly love to blast and belt out when you're alone? That would have to be Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up. What side of the bed do you sleep on? I sleep on the top side of the bed. What was your first stuffed animal and its name? Well, my background is Scottish. It's very traditional in Scotland. My parents did this with me. They would take a sheep's stomach and stuff it with wool, and that's the toy that they would give to the child, and that's what I had. And his name was Haggis. What's the drink you always order at Starbucks? Lemon macchiato with just a hint of love. Love that drink. Which way do you face in the shower? I face north. Do you have any weird body skills. I do. I can drink milk in my mouth, push like that, create so much pressure that milk would come out of the corner of my eyes and drip down. When I was a kid, people thought that it was some sort of religious thing. What's your favorite comfort food that's bad, but you love to eat it always? Bacon rolled in sugar, dipped in maple brown sugar, then rolled in peanuts. Been loving this for years. Time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? I'm kind of embarrassed to say this. Bunny costume. I've had it since I was a teenager. I wash it all the time so it's clean, but it's a bunny outfit. There we go. Real questions, fake answers. Okay, I'm not gonna do it. Hey guys, we are here with the parking lot guy for another English lesson. Today we are going to take a band lyric and that band is from Los Angeles, California. They are known as The Doors. And the phrase today is keep your eyes on the road, your hands up on the wheel. Keep your eyes on the road, your hands up on the wheel. Nice. I'm going to say it in English and he's going to say it in Portuguese. Give you guys a little bonus out there. So the phrase again is keep your eyes on the road, your hands up on the wheel. Mantenha seus olhos na pista e as mãos no volante. Hey, he nailed it in Portuguese also. Nice. So we got this call from this lady today, purchased a bag a couple of days ago, took it out of the bag to try it for the first time, and there was a little piece of hardware that fell off. It was probably just not screwed on well enough. So we want to give this really great customer service. What I decided on was I'm going to drive over there tomorrow, pick up the bag, bring it over here, fix it, bring it back to her. That's the level of customer service that we would love to see. When we go into a store, that's how we think about it, giving it back to our customers who we truly appreciate. Oh,